Hey, what's up guys? I want to do a quick tutorial on how to set up the Gigabyte Bricks 5775 um, with uh, Ubuntu Linux to mine kryptonite. Uh, with these little units, you can get about 600 hashes per second. I paid $250 for this thing. Um, it was posted about on Bitcoin Talk, but I think there were some people who uh, are just more familiar with Windows and maybe didn't have the BIOS set up correctly. So we're going to just kind of set this up. And then once uh, I get it going, we'll uh, I'll switch to the command shell and, and show what to do. So if you hear like weird noises, it's my cat Mendoza. She thinks I'm talking to her. So anyway, let's turn this on. Hit delete to get into the BIOS, and I uh, I basically factory reset this thing. So this is if you buy a new one, this is what it'll look like. Um, let's just go through the settings here, and what we need to make sure is enabled. Turbo mode that needs to be enabled. Hardware monitor, we leave that setting the way it is. Uh, you can forget about these wake settings. This is kind of more for if you need to wake up the machine with a keyboard or mouse, but uh, hopefully you'll have it running 24 hours a day. And that looks good. Smart Connect, want that disabled. OS selection. Um, Actually, we'll set this to Windows 8 so that it supports EFI mode. Hit escape to get back here. Chipset. Um, won't really mess around with too much of this stuff here. This is all pretty much comes uh, set up the way it should. So. Your boot, make sure that's disabled. And then fast boot. So basically I guess really there's there's nothing you have to change in the BIOS. But um if you see my settings, this is the way it should be. So I'm actually gonna pop in my um my USB stick. It's got the OS on there. Hey, get away from there. And we'll just uh, save changes and exit. And I'll be jamming the F12 key, I believe. I'm gonna select that. And I'm just gonna hit install. Hit the default, obviously, if you speak English. Uh, we don't need to detect the layout. No. Shout out to Miller Lite. I also for this I, uh, I keep the, the network cable plugged in um, just makes things go a little bit smoother because it, it tries to set up the network during the installation so uh, I'll just keep the, the host name the default but obviously you can uh, make that whatever you want it to be especially if you have more than one unit uh, initial username Uh, 
not that this really matters, but... Noted this. So it's saying that because I actually, on this hard drive, I actually already have this installed. I'm, I'm going to do a fresh installation. Um, but probably what you want to do is just do this, the, the default, use the entire disk. And uh, so I have a 500 gigabyte Samsung in there. And this is basically just kind of saying going to delete what's on there. Hit yes. I'm just going to force that. Yes. If this is a blank drive, then I think most of those things won't come up. Should go pretty quick because uh, Ubuntu server is just the, it's basically, I mean, the normal distribution. It just doesn't come with the, the graphical interface. So it's just kind of all command line. Pretty much kind of like installing uh, DOS. Proxy. We're going to hit no automatic updates. Um, and then uh, we actually will do the open SSH server. Um, you don't need to do this if you have a physical mouse and keyboard hooked up to it all the time, but um, what I plan on doing is as soon as this is set up I'm gonna put this like in the other room and then remotely manage it. So uh, we'll do the open SSH server and then we'll uh, hit continue.
Okay, so we're going to uh, pull this out of here. Hit continue. a million different little things that pop up here. Oh, so here we go. Type in my uh, username. I have a 4K monitor, that's why this is so tiny. Okay, I'm in. So then, um, right now what I'm going to do here is just shut it down. Move it to the other room, and then I'll continue this. Um, We'll SSH into it, and it'll be a little bit easier to see because I'll do a, a screencast. Okay. Okay, so um, now the bricks unit is plugged in and um, it's all turned on, hooked up, network cable and everything. Uh, the first thing you need to do then is uh, SSH into it, which I'll be using a, a program called Putty. Um, already uh, found my the IP address of it and everything, so I'll load that up um, and just hit open here. And uh, first thing it's going to do is ask for my password. Okay, so now I'm logged in. Um, first thing I'm going to do is actually uh, do the sudo apt get update, which is basically the Linux version of, um, you know, uh, kind of like like a Windows update type deal. Um, so that's going to pull down all the available packages. And then uh, I'm just going to run, just basically update everything right now. Hit yes. So I guess while that's running, um, we'll talk about the miner we'll be using, um, XMR stack, which actually with these units, um, this is basically the only miner you can use that uh, will take advantage of the L4 cache um, on these processors. So. pretty simple process. Um, everything you need is actually in this doc folder on GitHub. 
Uh, the problem is, though, it's the instructions are kind of spread out over three different documents, and if you're, you know, especially if you're unfamiliar with Linux, uh, it can be a little bit daunting. But uh, we'll go through all the steps, you know, what you need to do here to get this set up. Okay, so uh, that is finished, um, and that's pretty much that. Basically, what that did was just kind of update everything uh, to the latest packages and system updates, blah blah blah. So um, we're gonna start with uh, downloading the miner. So uh, if you actually click on uh, compile Linux.md document folder the instructions are actually pretty clear right here for Ubuntu um, so I'm just actually going to copy this right here and I'll just hit yes and this kind of just uh, is going to install the prerequisites to compile the program and run it and all that good stuff. Okay, so that's finished. Uh, so then the next step will be uh, the git clone command which is actually just going to essentially download everything here automatically. So that downloaded all the files. Um, next thing will be to make a directory. So it'll, um, it actually will download <laughs> 